Anemia is defined as a reduction in circulating red blood cell mass. This is the technical definition of anemia, and we're well aware of the fact that red blood cells carry the vast majority of oxygen within the blood, in particular the hemoglobin within the red blood cell, carries the vast majority of oxygen within the blood, and therefore if patients have re a reduction in red blood cell mass, they're going to present with signs and symptoms of hypoxia. Some of those signs would include weakness, fatigue, and dyspnea, dyspnea being shortness of breath, uh, pale conjunctiva and skin, and this is a relatively good um, clinical uh, test. Uh, pale conjunctiva is a good sign that there is um, an anemia. Now, the patient may present with headache and lightheadedness due to hypoxia to the central nervous system, in particular the brain, and the patient may even exhibit signs and symptoms of angina. Angina is chest pain, um, and because there's low oxygen in the blood, there would be low oxygen delivery to the heart. And if the patient has some pre-existing situation that, decre that has already decreased the blood flow to the heart, for example, coronary artery disease, then a further decrease of, in oxygen in the little bit of blood that's actually going to the heart could actually result in signs and symptoms of angina. These are the classic signs and symptoms of hypoxia. Now, once we have a patient with signs and symptoms of hypoxia, then the next um, discussion becomes how we can prove that they actually have an anemia. And remember that the technical definition of an anemia is a decrease in red blood cell mass. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to measure the red blood cell mass. Obviously, we can't take a patient and bleed them and then measure how much their red blood cells weigh. So it's very difficult to measure. There are ways to do it, but it would be very expensive and very difficult. So instead of measuring red blood cell mass, we use, we use some surrogate markers. And these surrogate markers help us to determine or make an effort to determine exactly what the patient's red blood cell mass might be. The three key laboratory studies that are used are hemoglobin, hematocrit, and the red blood cell count. So these three markers, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and the red blood cell count, are used as surrogates for red blood cell mass.